All right, woo, it's a little bouncy there. All right, good morning, everybody. Hi. How's everyone doing today? Hi. I'm Sari Custer, and this is Sari on Science for Arizona Hi. Science Center with today's literacy activity. And as you can see, I do have some help today. Hi. Hello, helper, would you like to say hello? Hi. You're gonna eat your banana instead? Hi, everyone. <laughs> my name is Carson, don't forget. This is Carson, this is my daughter, and she's gonna help out with our live activity today. And we'll be reading the book, The Snowy Day from Ezra Jack Keats. Now, I know some of you might have this at home, but if you don't, don't worry, we're gonna read through it. You can follow along if you have it, and then we're gonna do a great activity right after. So, um, also, I hope you all are staying safe at home and helping to flatten the curve, staying at home, staying healthy, and staying away from others. Um, and as you can see, we are all safe social distancing, and uh, just because we're doing that and staying in our homes doesn't mean the science has to stop, so we're here to have a little fun with you. We're going to wait just one more minute here as a couple more people join us on our Facebook Live. Um, and for those of you joining us for the first time, we've got Facebook Lives like this happening every day at 9.30 for our early learners. And then we have a Facebook Live demonstration or activity happening at 1 p.m. as well. So you can also check out our content online for Science at Home at azscience.org. Oh, my monkey's ready. So do you think I should start the story now? Yeah. All right, so we're right there with you. We totally understand how it is at home, so I appreciate the help, and I hope you guys appreciate this book. So let's start. Ezra Jack Keats, The Snowy Day. <laughs> All right, and uh, for those of you asking, yes, written and illustrated by Ezra Jack Keats. The Snowy Day. And I'm gonna stand a little bit so that we can get some good visuals up close to the camera. There's a lot of pages before you get to the first page. All right. One winter morning, Peter woke up and looked out the window. Snow had fallen during the night. It covered everything as far as he could see. Oh, and Carson, you want to see too? Everything as far as he could see. <laughs> All right, so after breakfast, whoop, let me get that up here. After breakfast, he put on his snowsuit and ran outside. The snow was piled up very high along the street to make a path for walking. All right. Crunch, crunch, crunch. His feet sank into the snow. He walked with his toes pointing out like this. He walked with his toes pointing in like that. Here we go. We got to let everybody else see too. I think I colored in my book. <laughs> Are you mad at me? No, baby. That's the illustration. All right. Then he dragged his... this No, this one is actually from the Science Center. Oh. All right, so then he dragged his feet slowly to make tracks, and he found something sticking out of the snow that made a new track. I need to see it. I need to see it. Right. Mm -hmm. New tracks? Wait, those are lines. Those are lines. You see the lines? We'll see if everybody can see the lines. And then a third line as he makes a new track there. All right. No. Then he what do you finds think? a tree. Oh, as I say, what do you think made that new line? It was a stick. No, I want to see it. <laughs> well, it was a stick. It was a stick. I a wanted to see it. Next time I'll make sure you do. I'm mm. sorry, sweetheart. A stick that was really. just right oh, no, for no, smacking. I forgot. I forgot my honor costume. That's okay. We'll get it next time. Next time. No, 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 no. All right, a stick that was just right for smacking a snow-covered tree. I lost my assistant to go get an Anna costume. Down fell the snow, plop, on top of Peter's head. How many of you have ever had big snow fall on your head like that? He thought it would be fun to join the big boys in their snowball fight but he knew he wasn't old enough, not yet. So he made a 
a smiling snowman. And he made angels. He pretended he was a mountain climber. He climbed up a great, big, tall, heaping mountain of snow and slid all the way down. And he, oops, we skipped a page there. He picked up a handful of snow and another and still another he packed it round and firm and put the snowball in his pocket for tomorrow. Then he went into his warm house. Mama, I told you. <coughs> he told his mother all about his adventures while she took off his wet socks. Well, we're live, baby. Everybody's still watching. It's okay. We're still going. We'll read it again. No, I wanted to quit. Now I'm angry at you. I'm sorry. You know what? Everybody at home with early learners also understand this challenge. But you know what? We're gonna finish this book for everybody watching and then we'll do an activity. Can you help with that? Thank you. Thanks everybody. We hope you all understand at home too. We get that this can be tough. All right, well let's get back to our story. I'm so angry at you, Mom, I ever. Thank you, I understand. Can you sit and join us? Thank you, Carson. Thanks for understanding everybody. All right. And he thought and thought and thought about his adventures. Before he got into bed, he looked in his pocket. His pocket was empty. The snowball wasn't there. He felt very sad. Mom, I'm still angry at you for the whole weekend. Thank you, sweetheart, for sharing your feelings. Mm. Everybody, you know, there's a lot of people watching us. Would you like mm. to join and apologize? Mm. Give me right, your on. book, Mom. Hey, Carson, thank you. While he slept, he dreamed that the sun had melted all the snow away. I like your costume, by the way, and people are telling you how much they like your beautiful mm. costume. Would you like to join us? Okay. Not for the whole Wax. But when I'm he... going to do any zero on science. No zero on science from Carson. Well, this is at least entertaining and real. I hope you all like the authentic I'm experience not... today. No, Carson, everybody's... <clears throat> Carson, thank you. Are we going to finish the story? I wanted you to start all over from the beginning, please. We will read it again after, but there are people waiting for us to finish the story now. Are you ready? <clears throat> no, no, all right. no. Oh. Well, let's start over on this page. While he slept, he dreamed that the sun had melted all the snow away. But when he woke up, his dream was gone. The snow was still everywhere. New snow was falling. Oops. After breakfast, he called to his friend from across the hall and they went out together into the deep, deep snow. All right, that is the end of Ezra Jack Keats' The Snowy Day with some official commentary here uh, from the Custer household. We hope you enjoyed that story. And I'd love to know how many of you have ever had a chance to play in snow? Because uh, Carson was telling me this morning that there is no snow here and she'd really like there to be snow. So I don't know how many of you have ever had that chance. Well, even if you haven't had a chance to play in the snow, if you've had some uh, time with ice, maybe you've had a chance to investigate it, but that's what we're going to do while we're here today because while we can't make snow every day, we can make ice in our freezer. So um, those of you who know what we did, we put some water balloons with ice. All right. We're going to see if our helper can come back. Ooh. All right. Hang on one second, please. Can you join us for the ice balloon time? Would you like to join us, Carson? All right. So we lost our other help. But I'm going to put this down here. We've got our ice balloons. All right. So we filled these balloons with water. Baby, why don't you join us? No, I wanted you to over the So we're live right now, Carson. Everybody's waiting for us to do the activity. Can you join us? Yeah. We'll start the book over and after. I'm really angry at you. I understand. Thank you. Can you sit down? I know you're sorry, sweetheart. But let's get going. Well, let's start. Everybody's waiting to help with the ice balloon, and lots of people would like to see what we do. I can't get up because of my dress. I don't like to get it wet. 
Here we go. We're not going to get it ripped. I don't like to climb up. Thanks for waiting, everybody. I think we're about ready to start our activity, Carson. Are you ready to help? Would you like to say hi to everybody? Hi. Today we're the pure the balloon dropping. We are. So if you made your ice balloon already, we hope you get a chance. Ooh, here we go. We I hope you got a chance to make one. If you didn't, you can do this right after. All you need is a regular balloon and some water. So fill this up, stick it in the freezer overnight or even two nights sometimes. And then once you get your balloon, Carson's right. We're going to go ahead and do what, Carson? Peel it off? Yeah. You want to show him how to do that? Yeah. Guys, do this chick. What? Mom, look, I didn't need the scissors. You guys just peel it off. Huh, Mom, there's a hole in mine. Ooh. Oh, so Carson already made an observation. So as we peel off the balloon, you'll be left with this beautiful globe of ice. And some of you might notice, or if you can see that there, there's a yeah, hole. Yeah, and it's like a shape of a dinosaur egg <gasps> from the future. Oh, that's a great observation, Carson. It does kind of look like an egg. Yeah. And what do you think and this mom, hole's from? You. What do you think the hole's from? From the balloon. What, what from the balloon? What part of the balloon? This piece. Do you think there was any air in the balloon? Yes. Oh, yeah. So the little air bubble that got trapped in the top of the balloon here left a little space. And when it froze, we have a little hole from that air bubble. So now what you can do is just make observations. That's what this activity is all about. Making observations yes. and having a little fun. I want, you can use whatever color balloon you want. Absolutely. You Even can... your favorite color. If you don't want to use your favorite color, it's all right. You can just use whatever color you want. You absolutely can use whatever color balloon you want. Um, so you might notice some things right off the bat. Oh, Mom, we're going to use that water to fill up our balloon. Well, we already filled our balloon, so we, no, we can no, make no, some no, more no, later. No, These kind. Oh, yeah. Well, what do you notice about the ice that we have here now, though, Carson? Is it clear? Can you see all the way through uh, it? Uh, can you see all the way through the ice? Go, 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 So that's an observation. The ice is very, very cold. Go, 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 go. It's very cold. You might notice that the ice is a little bit uh, cloudy looking. It looks white instead of clear. So those are the impurities in the water. Um, and unless you're using completely deionized water or filtered water, you're, you're going to see more clear water with that type of water as opposed to, say, tap water, which happens to have some minerals in it. So cold. So cold. <laughs> oh, your hands are so cold. Do you know how cold water is, Carson? Or excuse me, how cold ice is? Yeah, they're from the North Pole. <laughs> it's like it's from the North Pole. Well, ice, so water freezes into ice at Wait, 32 Mom, degrees Fahrenheit. Idea. Yeah? We can just glue this on. You could try to glue it on. That's one thing you could do. I don't know if that would work very well. But if we talk so about... So we can add the balloon right inside there if you want to or not. Maybe you could. Well, you know. Of the ice starts to melt, put it back in the freezer at fast as you can. Well, so you could put it back in the freezer if you want to keep it there. So like we said, I want water to keep freezes. My you can put it back in the freezer if you right want. Now? Well, I thought we'd still continue with this activity for everybody who's waiting on us. <gasps> Ow! Whoa, 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 <laughs> careful, you might you might want to be very careful with that. All right, so as Carson mentioned, it will start to melt here, and when that happens, you can actually do some really cool things. Like if we add some salt to it, so that warmer air. Oh, cool, add some salt to the top, Carson, because there's always it's constant like freezing a little and bit thawing. Pinch. Just use a little pinch or a little bit more. I used I used a pretty good pinch there. Uh, but there's always like always freezing and thawing with these water balloons and or these uh, ice balloons. And when the I warm air around this me. ice starts to, to melt the salt. ice, it's okay. Just we're we're okay. Just rub your hands. There you go. Um, no, it won't even come off. Just rub your hands, babe. It's okay. All right. Here's a here's a towel. All right, we can do this. We'll get there. <laughs> um, you okay, don't want to get your tongue stuck to it if you lick it. And yes, um, this salt will help keep any of that um, water that has melted from the ice from refreezing because 
this ice is 32 degrees. It could be even colder coming out of your freezer. And that tends to make any of that water on the outside that melts from the air surrounding it. So it's about 70 degrees, 68 degrees in our, you know, it depends on what you have your temperature set at, but it's gonna melt a little bit. And adding some salt is gonna keep it from uh, refreezing. It lowers that Mommy, melting I'm point of the water. Done. Mom, look, I'm yeah. already done. Oh, well, would you like to add some colors? Oh, so yes, yes. we've got the ice I, balloon, I, we used a little I, salt. I, 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 now we've just got some food coloring and something fun that you can do. Purple, purple. You're gonna use purple, Carson. I'm gonna use blue. Cause and we you need can... to do the same colors like our balloon. Oh well, you could. I guess I did happen to have a balloon and you, or a blue balloon, and you had purple. You don't have to keep it the same, but any food coloring will work. <gasps> Mom, and you put a couple Emma. drops. Oh yeah, right at the top. And now you can watch as. All of that melted ice water has started to create channels in your ice balloon and this dye will help you follow all of those channels. And that water tends to create meanders. I'm going to put a little more. Okay, you can put a little bit more. In the hole. So using this really helps you watch the way it melts. And then you can also talk about how the water oh changes Mom, and it creates look, these meanders like a right stream. There, I got a leak right there. Oh, we got a little leak. We got a little extra. All right, a little too on much. Purpose. That's all right. It's so good. You can't really go wrong with this one. It's Mom, kind of fun. Can I put this thing on? Oh yeah, no, don't don't clean it up with the towel, babe. We'll just rinse it right down the sink later. But you can keep doing this with different colors. You can see how the channels get bigger. And if you can't see it very close, I'll put it up mm -hmm. here so you can see all of the Look water mine, melting. Look at guys. My mine is. I know you can see the little lake, but... Oh yeah, there's like a little lake. Even you got a big ice So thing. something else you can do is learn how ice oh, you want to can help disperse it. light. Would you like to try Carson putting a flashlight up to yours and see if it, what happens? So put it up against the ice. You can use a flashlight up against the ice to see inside. You can really start to see some of those impurities and you can see how it starts to illuminate the channels that the warm water is cutting into the big ice balloon because it's going deeper down in, not just on the surface, um, but you can start to get a sense of that once you shine a light on it. All right, I think that's about it for our ice balloons today, Carson, what do you think? And if you want to use like a little more of this, you can if you want to over your coloring. Yeah, you can definitely use a little more salt if you want to, but this is super easy. And uh, I'm not sure, I haven't seen any other questions come Mama, up, but if you don't have any balloons at home. I more salt on yours, the color is going to stay on really well. Okay, so you can keep adding a little bit of salt if you want, just to make some changes happen in your channels in your ice. Okay, but if you don't have any balloons, you can also try using a small bowl that's Mama, really round and look, deep. Look, You'll get a flat Mama. top when you're done, when you um, when the ice comes out. But you want to make sure, of course, that it's a freezer safe bowl. But it is a lot of fun. All right, Carson, I think we're ready to let these fine folks go. Bye. <laughs> All right, we hope that you had a lot of fun today with us. And thanks for hanging in there. We understand what everybody's going through by hanging out at home. Carson, would you like to tell everybody have a nice day? Have a nice day, everyone. Don't forget, if you want to do more videos with me and my mom, come back on Sion Science with Water Balloons. Yep, you got it from Carson right there. Check us out on azscience.org. Oh, a good comment just came in. I don't want to leave without saying it. We've got a viewer who used a Ziploc bag and the ice worked just great. So thanks for that great tip. You can use a bowl, Ziploc bag, however you can create, you know, even ice cubes, if you've got some little ice cubes, those will work too on just a smaller Mom, scale, but they definitely this. will work. Please. Oh, apparently you can now make stamps with your balloon too. All right. Thanks everybody. We had a lot of fun with you today. Join us next time every day at 930 for our early learner activities, every day at one o'clock for another activity or demonstration. And you can check out more science online with Arizona Science Center at azscience.org. Again, thanks for joining us. Take care. We'll see you tomorrow. Mom. Squishy my dress.